Okay. Uh, let's give this a try. <laughs> I've kind of got the camera. Uh, Derek at Vice Grip Garage. You'd probably be kind of proud of this if I could show it. I'm holding my phone there with a pair of vice grips. <laughs> so, uh, let's try this. I'm ready to set it. my rubber mount. Set that down on there. One piece there. Piece there. Now drop a bolt down in there. <sighs> Woo hoo! Kind of like butter. Okay, sticky butter that's been in the freezer, maybe. But she went in. Okay, and then these pieces I'll put on the bottom. couple of these bolts here are nuts. <laughs> Not the bolts. The bolts are in there. Uh, I tell you, it's been a day. Alright. Now that'll go in there like that. With the bolts on, or the nuts on there. And a couple of lock washers when I finalize it. But this will show me for sure. <laughs> just like that. And then that one just like that. And that one just like that. Uh, and it sounds like somebody came in to say hello. What's going on, Jeremy? Thank you for helping me. No problem. Hey, right, you say hello there, you'll be on YouTube. Hi right, YouTube family out there. Uh, uh, okay. Now, put this one in. As you can tell, I kind of did this in the Chevy way. The same bolts there as the same bolts there. One wrench, one socket. Like I said, I'm thinking like I'm the one that's going to be working on it. I don't want it to be a PT Cruiser. Anybody that's ever worked on a PT Cruiser takes a whole damn toolbox to change a head gasket. Every tool you got. And then you got to run out and borrow two more. <laughs> I, I, I don't know what Chrysler was thinking on that one. Yeah, it's not that bad, but you know, you get what I mean. Now we'll stick that guy in there. And... My quarters. Okay, two wrenches, two sockets. This side is a little tighter. I'll use this video here as my uh, 
memory make take the drill to that and open it up just a tad more okay and then I got a quarter on this side just like that If anybody would have told me I'd be using vice grips for a tripod, I would have told them they was crazy till today. Just like that. mystery bolt that always tends to run away right at the right 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 when you need it you know what I'm talking about there's always that one bolt that just runs away and I'll, I'll see if I find it lacking one bolt. I need to I need to run to town and get one more three eighths about yay long inch long. So I remember now all the other ones I got have got shanks on them and I need I need one small enough that's just are smiling. Let's get it in there. Oh yeah, I'm sure this video here is just interesting as all get out, listening to grunts, right there, grunts and bunts, can't really see what I'm doing. But I'm doing it anyway, right? You get the back scene, uh, backstage pass into B&B Rats and Rods here. Uh, and that is about the most handiest place for a Sharpie. But good golly, it catches on everything. Okay. She's in. She's set. That's... 
that's my biggest goal for today and I got her I got her Whew. now I'll kick those supports out I'll now I can lift the the whole car up without the nose going up and down and I know right where it's gonna be so that <laughs> that, that was something um, it's surprising what little things like just a core support how long it can take you uh, especially when you're working on stuff that's angled like this and you're way up here and you got to figure out how to go from here to here and you can't make things just Luke Skywalker float in the air and then when it all comes together you want everything square not only here but back on the cowl as well and these roll downs have all got to have an, about an eighth of an inch gap on the sheet metal all the way down. Uh, you, can, you can see here the rubber bumpers that are kind of still there. That holds it so you get that gap. And then the body lines all match up and it's all pending on those two bolts down there. And then what keeps it straight this way is those strut rods up there for that brake master that I was showing earlier that I still haven't set yet and the reason I don't want to screw with that strut rod up there is because the one on this side over here pulls this up like that if I tighten it up it comes up like that if I tighten this side this side comes up and it uses that torsion to hold the front end in there it's all fun um, and you gotta kind of think on your feet and then always keep in your mind that you got to make it serviceable when it's done so you can get in there and work on it well, that's where I'm at today and uh, yeah I'm, I'm doing this without my teeth in because uh oh when you get old and you finally get your false teeth if you look around on the floor after all that grinding all that dust all that dirt all that iron it gets in my teeth and good god it hurts so I don't wear my teeth when I'm in the shop especially when I'm grinding and stuff like that but here we are I got her I hope and that was definitely a good four hours on it today and we'll we'll try her again there she be so I'll sign her out and I don't know, maybe I'll find me one of them uh, catchphrases that everybody's got uh, something like uh, keep the metal hot or something I don't know I don't know uh, shout out to Uncle Tony we'll see you tomorrow